Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of GoGated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is August 23rd, 2014. We're in Bluffton in the community of Rose Dew Creek Plantation. And this is a beautiful community. We're here to preview this home, which is for sale at 489.9 with 3,051 square feet. And it is, uh, has five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. It's on 0.8 acres. And uh, it's uh, beautifully staged. We're gonna walk through and see if it could be possibly for you. It's listed with the DR Horton Company. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 38 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Let's just look around the community here. Uh, the street, we're at the corner of Rosebud uh, Way and Rosebud Lane, excuse me, Redbud uh, Lane and Redbud Way. And this section of Rose Dew Creek Plantation was purchased by the DR Horton Company several years ago. 25 lots total, all large lots. It's been a huge success story. They are down now to having one or possibly two lots available still for sale. Uh, they have about six homes or more coming out of the ground for cons in construction that you possibly could buy. This is one of them called the Hickory model. It's been their model, but in that they're pretty much sold out now with accepting for this last group of homes. They don't need it as a model anymore. It is for sale, like I said today, at $489.9 with all the bells and whistles. I'm really looking forward to walking through it and showing it to you. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. K-A-D-E-S-C-H, my company, Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Communities Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And of course, this community, Rose Dew Creek Plantation, is a gated community. Also has a community swimming pool at the uh, place called The Gathering Place. Uh, with a little picnic pavilion. The uh, annual HOA here in Rose Dew Creek Plantation is $1,882 here in 2014. Uh, I get a lot of demand from my luxury buyers for homes that are new or newer, that are on large lots in good communities, lots of privacy, kind of like that country feel, but not too far away from everything. Well, Rose Dew Creek Plantation is certainly on that short list of homes that qualify with the additional uh, provision. Uh, don't want the regime fees to be too high. You know, we have some real high-end communities in the Bluffton and Hilton Head area where those annual fees are in the 12, 14, 16, you know, a thousand a year range. Well, this is not one of them. Like I said, you're just paying 1882 a year here. Uh, this uh, home and the others that are here are the Emerald Home Division of DR Horton. That's their high luxury end. It's got the best of everything they have to offer. This being the model is uh, in many ways the best of the best. You're looking at hardy plank siding, uh, brick facing. You're going to see inside that we have uh, high-end finishes. This would be what's sometimes called a craftsman home. Uh, let's go in and We'll see what uh, you think. We have a cobblestone uh, walkway here to the front door with a couple of brick steps. The house is two stories high. It is on a slab, which means a concrete foundation. So there is no crawl space. And on the first floor here, we have a beautiful wood floor and our stairway with the wrought iron railing up to the second floor with a loft area. You have your master bedroom on the first floor, the other four bedrooms on the second floor. I think you're going to like this house, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to show it to you, and uh, uh, I'm very enthusiastic about this house. I have uh, some buyers that have told me they're looking for really what this house has to offer. Uh, the size, the price, the features. Our dining room is immediately to the left. Now this house is staged, so please look right past the furniture. You don't have to like the furniture, although it is very likable, I think but it's really just intended to show you how your furniture can look in this home. You have some beautiful um, wainscoting, like I say, arts and crafts style, ripped on site, if you will, 
kind of country style. You have vinyl clad windows, those are interior flat mullions for our easy care. Now you have a tray ceiling here in your dining room and this house has both this formal dining room and a informal breakfast area on the other side of the kitchen. You'll see when we walk through. Now you have a beautiful wood floor here which is a uh, rustic maple. My buyers really like wood. They like wood floors. They like flat ceilings. They like newer homes that are light and bright. Here's our foyer entrance, <coughs> excuse me, to the living room that has a fireplace. Many of my buyers are looking for that, even though they are optional, of course, in this climate. But there it is, and this living room does go right on up, two full stories for some high windows that let light into this beautiful living room. Over to the left is our kitchen and the breakfast area. And behind me is our master bedroom. Let's walk through the kitchen here. Stainless steel appliances. We have the GE profile refrigerator. Again, this house is, uh, well, brand new. I mean, it was uh, built in 2011, never lived in. <coughs> you have stone tops here in this kitchen. The dark wood panel cabinets. Here's your uh, granite pattern. Your ceramic top GE profile range top. This uh, device here is what is sometimes called your uh, spaghetti uh, spaghetti fixture. In other words, uh, it's actually water, so you don't have to carry a, a pot across from the sink to your range top. You can fill your pot right here uh, at the range. That's a nice feature to have. And your built-in GE profile microwave. Looking uh, back towards our breakfast area, you have some uh, special light fixtures in this house. Like I say, being the model, you would expect it to be uh, <coughs> maxed out, so to speak. And I think that it is. Over here, your um, stainless steel dishwasher. Your double oven here, all GE profile. Your stainless steel, what I call a bin sink, a single bin sink. A lot of my buyers like to have the deep single bin. <coughs> excuse me they don't like these shallow cheap sinks this is a good one with a swan neck faucet <coughs> and of course it has the removable rinsing tool which is so popular obviously you've got a tiled backsplash there and your window over the sink looking out onto your treed yard <coughs> your pantry is over here to the left we have uh, beautifully paneled doors in the entire house <coughs> sorry and once again, here's a look back towards your entrance and your dining room. So it's both open and formal at the same time. I would consider this to be a traditional floor plan with uh, definitely <coughs> a modern, I guess you could call it traditional modern. Here's our breakfast area at the back of the house, the back left, double window to the left, sliding door out onto a screened porch, another feature that many of my buyers are looking for. We'll go out there when we finish. Looking at the house, and there's a beautiful uh, uh, patio out there as well with pavers and a fire pit. And again, this house is listed at $389,900. So here's a look back towards the foyer. And then we'll just get a preview of the second floor. We're gonna go up there in just a minute. Uh, first, we're gonna see the uh, master bedroom, which is on the right rear side of the house. Pretty much occupies together with the bathroom, most of the right side of the house. You have a little privacy jog here, and then you're into your master bedroom. Uh, beautiful tray ceiling with some uh, crown molding up in there. A little bit of a modern 52 inch ceiling fan there, windows all around, letting lots of light into this corner bedroom. Again, the furniture is not included. If you like it, I'm sure it's negotiable, but the house is staged, ladies and gentlemen. That just means that it's showing you how your furniture could uh, fit in here. And of course that is a king size bed. So you have plenty of room for that. The woodwork in this house is decidedly country what some people might call arts and crafts, or rather craftsman style. Squared off is another term. Here's our master uh, bathroom with the tile floor laid diagonally. 
you do have a fiberglass tub with a tile surround and a beautiful window over the tub to let lots of light into this bathroom. You have a separate shower. We'll see that in a moment. Big walk-in closet for him and her straight away. And on this side you have your vanity with the same dark wood cabinets we saw in the kitchen. Granite top with undermounted uh, ceramic basins. Stylish brushed metal uh, bath uh, faucets. Uh, framed fixed wall mirror here and a stylish sconce light over that mirror looking good. You have flat ceilings throughout. Here's our shower with the tile surround, the brushed metal frame to the glass enclosure. And very good looking tile indeed. A little bit of an accent uh, strip uh, across there looking very nice. Our master bedroom closet is very large, very large. Currently just with a single row of the metal shelving there. You can of course add that, add shelving, get the space maker type of uh, closet products that people like and increase your storage tremendously there. And you have a little privacy jog here to the right, back to your commode or what I call the water closet. Very common to put the toilet into a closet in a Hilton Head house. Notice our high squared off baseboard, again very country, kind of a, a luxury country style we have going here with these panel doors, lever handles, this is your linen closet. All in all, really a beautiful bathroom and a beautiful house too. Uh, the price $489.9. This house of course is fully finished and is ready to go. Uh, no longer being used as the, as the model or the sales office for the company. It can be yours. And again, I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent, so my enthusiasm for this house is uh, real, not as the listing agent trying to sell you this house per se, but I have to tell you that I like Rose Dew Creek Plantation very much. Many of my buyers like it. Uh, it's what they want. And I do like uh, these emerald homes that D.R. Horton has put out here. Um, I like the price and the value you get, uh, the quality, uh, I, I like them. And so that's why I'm here showing it to you. Over on this side here is your half bath near the base of the stairway. There is a, uh, a uh, sink behind the door there, we won't peek in there. You have a uh, closet there next to your stairway. Over here your washer and dryer, GE brand, tile floor. You do have a simple shelf overhead there. And let's just look into the garage, formerly the sales office. And it has a uh, ceramic floor, which uh, I think is a big bonus for you. People talk about having an epoxy floor. Well, how about a ceramic floor? Uh, pretty darn good. Uh, two, uh, two car garage there with a the door to the left. Uh, I'm sure that they will modify this for you. It is air conditioned right now. That can stay if you want. It has its own air conditioner. I'm sure that that will be modified to remove the uh, sales wall there and to install a, uh, a automatic door opener, which of course is pretty standard for most Hilton Head homes. Well, let's go upstairs. We have some wood treads. Again, wrought iron railings leading up to the second floor loft area and where we also then have four bedrooms, four bedrooms. Well, the volume gives this house really a lot of beauty, a lot of beauty and allows you to communicate down easily to anyone on the first floor there. So a good family home. However, I do work with a lot of retirees and seniors who just want their master bedroom to be on the first floor. And aside from that, they want to have uh, guest rooms upstairs, uh, you know, storage upstairs, uh, offices, they don't care as, as long as the master bedroom is on the first floor. We have two bedrooms over here that are pretty much side by side and about the same size. This is a walk-in attic space. The reason I'm taking time to show this to you is because we have this thermal board or what is sometimes called a radiant shield. It's one of the newer generation uh, uh, energy products that keeps your attic cool because the uh, sun is, uh, the heat is radiated back out, doesn't get into your attic, so your attic stays cooler, therefore your house stays cooler. That is throughout the roof area of this house. 
nice product that'll keep your energy building your bills down ladies and gentlemen you see the closet here and then just across this way we have another bedroom just like the one that we just left there of course these colors are very attractive but if they're not for you well you can just paint them you can always change your colors uh, however you cannot change your location and I don't know why you'd want to because this is a <laughs> fantastic place to be here uh, in Rosedew Creek Plantation really a fantastic uh, lot 0.8 acres uh, that's what a lot of people are looking for here's uh, another bathroom obviously with the large tile floor our Corian top here with the integral Corian basin we have a framed mirror and the same sconce type wall light that we saw in the master with a high window over our fiberglass tub and shower all in all a very nice bathroom and our fourth bedroom immediately next door so we have a cluster of three bedrooms here uh, near the top of the stairs this one has a bit of a sculpted ceiling ceiling fan and of course it has a double closet over here as well very attractive room Definitely a great family home or for anyone who uh, has a lot of guests. Well, this is uh, one of the interesting things. Uh, one of the options that they offer with this model is to finish off the space over the garage as a bedroom or bonus room. Well, this one is fully finished, as you might imagine, having been the model. And I guess it is still the model until you buy it. Uh, you have uh, a bedroom here. And it does have a full bathroom immediately over here. It's really a full second floor master bathroom bedroom suite. Separate tub and shower, very unusual to see that on a second floor bedroom, but this is really deluxe. You have your Corian top with the integral basins, a framed mirror, same quality we've seen elsewhere in the house, very attractive and you have a large walk-in closet your commode here to the left tile floor laid diagonally and your fiberglass shower with the brushed metal frame on your glass and you have some shelves for your linens here and here's your walk-in closet so i realize we're going through this a little bit fast but you know it's a lot of house to see uh, again, it is 3,051 square feet. The price again, 489.9 uh, without the furniture. It's a beautiful house, beautiful location. To give you an idea of the value of this house, let me just explain. And uh, we'll talk just a moment about the market as we head downstairs and head outside. Rosedew Creek Plantation is a high-end community. And by that I mean uh, expensive <laughs> and exclusive. Uh, there's only three resale homes for sale. Uh, actually four in Rosedew Creek Plantation today as, aside from these emerald homes from D.R. Horton. The lowest price of them is 525. Then there's two at 850 and 875, or excuse me, 875 and 899. And then there's one which is I believe a million two, a million 249 only four resale homes. The average price of a home in Rosedew Creek Plantation today, ladies and gentlemen, 671. 671 is the average. Well, the entire marketplace here, the under $500,000 marketplace, is occupied by this group of D.R. Horton Emerald Homes that uh, the flagship of which we are in right here. And I'll be happy to tell you about the others as well. Some of them are one-story homes. Some of them cost less. They start about 425. So there's just a group now of about five of them, six of them, including this one, that are for sale today. And uh, this is the one that's ready to show that uh, I'm showing you now as a buyer's agent. And of course, the process we go through when you come to me as your buyer's agent, as we look out here on the screen porch, beautiful. Uh, seashell finish on this concrete deck out here the uh, screen enclosure beautiful beautiful very very quiet out here you can stand in the middle of the street and uh, walk down the street with your eyes closed and uh, probably for an hour at a time without seeing a car it's just a very quiet community uh, 
here's our back patio which is your uh, stone pavers your fire pit love those Adirondack chairs they're always more comfortable than they look and of course uh, this is a semi-tropical climate so we don't really burn fires much around here but people from the north uh, love fireplaces <laughs> and when it is winter time you still like to be able to go outside we have very mild winters ladies and gentlemen average temperatures here in the winter time is about 55 degrees here's just a look at the back of this house again that's hardy plank siding you do have some gutter work around this house here's our corner location beautiful lot So what I was saying is that in this, basically the last chance to buy into Rose Dew Creek Plantation for under $500,000 is with this last group of brand new homes. So I would invite you to call me and talk to me about your interests, what you're looking for. Let's work together to find it. Again, I'm a buyer's agent on your side. And if I didn't say so already, you know, it doesn't cost anything more for you to have a buyer's agent. It's your right. And even dealing with developers, they expect you to have an agent on your side. Uh, my fee, my commission is already in the price of every listed home. And all of the developers in the area fully expect you to shop around with an agent before you come to them and make a decision on building a new home because that's uh, a big decision. It's a lot of money. They fully expect you to do all your research and shopping and comparing with an agent like me and of course it doesn't cost you anything more to have me as your agent because my commission is already in the price of every listed home paid only at closing only if you buy only if you close and the commission that you pay is the same for an agent like me with 38 years of local real estate experience as you would pay to someone who has no experience someone who cannot help you at all so it's really a no-brainer to have a buyer's agent in my opinion and it's a no-brainer to get the best agent you can find you know I find that there's so much out there on the internet these days about properties and I love that because my buyers when they come to me and when they're knowledgeable and prepared it really saves me a lot of time but there's really not much out there about agents uh, how do you find an agent? Well, that's one reason why I'm making this video too. It's not just to promote this house, which I like, and this community, which I like, but to uh, promote myself to you as a buyer's agent. And hopefully you will think of me when it comes time to buy and when you're ready to make your move, if you will, to have an agent work with you. I would be delighted to hear from you. My cell phone, ladies and gentlemen, is 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email address is rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. If you like uh, social media, please find me on Facebook at Go Gated Hilton Head Real Estate. And if you like this video, you'll find more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please, uh, give me a call, send me an email, tell me what you're looking for. Let me send you a list of all the properties in the area that can meet your needs in terms of price, features, locations. Let me send you that list. There's no cost or obligation for you to have this service, which is very valuable in my opinion. My clients like it very much and it is the best way to monitor your personal real estate market. So how about this home? How about this one right here? Number 15, Red Bud Way. For sale for immediate occupancy, 489.9, 3,051 square feet. It's got it all. An excellent price for a luxury home in a really top community here. Please come see me. Let's compare. Let's find what you're looking for. And I look very much forward to meeting you. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a real pleasure showing you this home today. August 23rd, 2014. Again, Richard Kadish. We're in Rosedew Creek plantation in Bluffton, South Carolina.